Hey guys, welcome back. Today I will be sharing what's in my planner bag. This planner bag is from Hobby Lobby. I am absolutely obsessed with it and it is by the brand The Paper Studio. If you missed it, I did post a haul when I picked up this planner bag. I love it, y'all. I think it's just, it's absolutely perfect. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, there's no like zip closure. There's no button closure. This little bag is open. It has two big compartments here, as you can see. And there's like a little divider here. So you can see it. Here is the little divider. And we have one compartment here and another here and this little compartment right here i have my happy planner and a little happy notes notebook so let's go ahead and take those out as well as my flares so this is the current happy planner that i'm using i did pick up a new one to start in july which is my wrong wrong planner and i love that one as well so this cover did not come with the happy planner my aunt gave it to me for christmas and i think it's gorgeous and i love it so so much uh, but this is the current planner that i'm using and i love it i highly recommend a happy planner and i'm also using this little happy notes by the happy planner planner and this is part of the wrong wrong collection and I love it I think it's so cute I love how slim and slender it is I can jot down anything that I'm thinking from YouTube ideas to my grocery list you name it I love having this with me so whenever I take my planner bag it's my planner bag and I take it with me to like brunch or to a coffee shop. I may not be like planning as in like planning in my actual happy planner every time, but I could be like planning ideas for YouTube, Instagram, grocery list, content, you name it. And I have been loving having my planner bag to hold all of my little goodies in it. So I have that. And then in that little pocket, I also have this little container that I picked up. I think at Office Depot or Office Max, and it has my flares. So love this bad boy. Let's go ahead and look at this next little compartment here. So just looking at an overview this way, I have a little sticker binder here, as well as some Happy Planner sticker books and some washi tape, as well as a little pencil bag. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this out so we can get a better look at all of the items that are in this little pocket. Okay, I have this little sticker binder in my little planner bag. In this little binder, I have majority of paper and glam stickers. This little divider is from Paper and Glam, and it's the March one. I kind of just have like stuck a lot of stuff in here. I will be organizing my Paper and Glam stickers by the month. Uh, but for now, I have a lot of them in here. I probably have from February to May in this little binder. And the binder is, it, it's really full. So I absolutely love Paper and Glam. I love their stickers. They're so beautiful. They're so well thought out. Every sticker that you would ever need are in these little sticker sets and sticker kits. So... We can just take a quick little look. See, it's hard to even turn the page because I have so many stickers in here. Whenever you get your Paper and Glam stickers, they don't come punched. They come like this. And I just took a little hole punch and punched each sheet and stuck them all in here. So this is Glam About Town, Glam Headers, Glam April. I literally do not even have them organized very well. Um, I kind of just have them just all in here. Glam Easter, Glam Office. Let me help with the lighting a little bit. Is that a little bit better? Um, Gym Glam, Glam Basics. The Signature Sampler, I highly recommend to pick one of these up if you're wanting to try out Paper and Glam. I will leave a link in the description box below. If you use that link, you will get a discount or you can use my code XOXO underscore Bianca Andrus for 20% off your purchase. I don't get compensated for that. It's not an affiliate link or anything. It's just for you to be able to save some cash at checkout, which who doesn't love saving money? Um, let's see, Glam March. So all of these are my... 
paper and glam stickers that I am literally obsessed with and I plan on doing a video or maybe I'll show it in a vlog whenever I really sit down to organize these. I need to pick up a couple more binders and um, sit down and like really organize them. But I love this. I love having them. Honestly, I do love having them all in one binder so I can have them in my planner bag to carry them on the go, but I am literally at max capacity. I could not fit Glam June in here, and when I get Glam July, it definitely will need its own binder. So that is that. Love these stickers, highly recommend. Okay, I also have a few Happy Planner sticker books in my planner bag as well, and I love them. Love my Happy Planner sticker books. They're so, so good. Okay, let's see. I have quite a few of the new Wrong Wrong sticker books in here as well as these. This is the Happy Memory Keeping, A Year of Memories. I love this sticker book. It is seasonal, so it's just perfect for memory keeping, and that's kind of what I like using my planner for. It's a hybrid between like it being a functional planner as well as memory keeping. So that's that. This is a new sticker book. This is the Boss Babe sticker book that I picked up at Michael's recently, and I love it so, so much. It has some really, really cute stickers in here. Um, daily checklist. I love these little laptops. It can remind me to either like edit or post my videos. Um, email, make calls, lunch date, lunch meetings, to do's. These are just so cute. I love this little Boss Babe sticker book. So I have this one that I've been toting around as well as my tiny sticker book. Um, this one, I think every planner girl needs the sticker book in their life. It has some of the cutest stickers in it. Like, look at those lips. Nail polish bottles. These are just adorable. Like, I love the little happy planner stickers. They're so, so cute. Highly recommend that sticker book. And I also have been toting around these three wrong, wrong collaboration sticker books. Or these are the accessory books and the seasonal sticker book. So, I recently planned in my June. So, in my recent planner spread, I used some of the wrong, wrong stickers as well as my paper and glam stickers. And this little seasonal set is just perfect. The summer vibes are everything to use on their own, but especially in conjunction with the paper and glam stickers, I think they're just perfect. Like this Hello Summer is paper and glam, and then this one is the Happy Planner Wrong Wrong, and they just look so cute together. I love how that spread came out. So I have this sticker book as well as the two accessory books. And they're super cute. If you wanted to see a flip through of these, I will link my Wrong Wrong and Happy Planner haul down below where I showed all of the items that I picked up from the collection and I did flip throughs of all of the sticker books and the accessory books. I also have some washi tape with me. This is 13 rolls of glitter washi that I picked up at Joann's and I love it. You literally can't go wrong with all of this glitter washi tape. And then I also have this little pencil pouch. This is from the Paper Studio. I believe it was the LOL collection at Hobby Lobby last year. And in here I just have a variety of things. I have a little gift card to use for my washi tape. I have washi tape in here. I have like a little exacto knife. I have this little tool for using when I'm working with like little delicate stickers. I have some little paper clips that I've made in here. Like these two. Super cute, and then just a variety of random washi tape. So this little pouch is super cute and functional. Okay, so right here in this pocket, oop, I have my sunnies, totally forgot about that. Um, and th there's also another pocket right up here, and I have a pair of scissors. I have some little paper clips. And it looks like I have another pin, so I'm going to stick that right here. Okay, if you look at the front of the bag, here we have three more pockets, and these are much smaller. So here I just have more flare pins and a mechanical pencil. This pin here is an Erin Condren, which these were gifted to me. This little set was gifted to me, and I absolutely love those. 
In this little pocket here, I have my little micro happy notes. I absolutely love this. I kind of like throw this in between my planner bag and just in my purse in general. It's super tiny. I love it. And I just kind of use it for notes at this moment. Um, I'll give you a little peek of it. I put this little... This is vellum that I picked up at Hobby Lobby and I punched it with my Happy Planner punch and I have this little wrong wrong sticker here. I made some little dividers for it and I think I'm going to do a dedicated video because I did ask y'all in a previous vlog if y'all wanted to see a more in-depth look at my little micro notes. So I'm going to wait for that but I'll show y'all this. I made this little sheet right here. Again, I used that same little vellum. And I put this little picture here of me and Max. I think it's so cute. I printed this little picture out with my sprocket printer. It is a sticker. So I just slapped it on there with this cute little wrong wrong sticker that says just a girl and her dog. I thought that was super fitting. So I love that little page. And it fits perfectly in that little pocket. And then in this pocket I have my favorite tape. This is the Crafters Tape by Ad Tech. It is permanent and I get it at Walmart. You can get like five for like five bucks at Walmart. I believe they also sell it at Michael's and Hobby Lobby. You could use a coupon at either of those stores. But this is hands down my absolute favorite tape. So have that there as well. Alrighty guys, well that is it for this little video. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a look into what I keep in my planner bag. I just bought another planner bag that I think I'm going to keep my actual planner and my little notebooks in so I can fit more stickers and washi tape in this planner bag. But we can save that for another video and I can give you an update when I actually start using that one and incorporating it into like my little planner on the go routine. If you enjoyed this video, Video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe if you are not already subscribed follow me on Instagram Twitter and Snapchat and I'll see you in my next one bye guys